I don't even know what I'm looking at. Hey, what's up my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Lupin Ranger vs. Pet Ranger DX Exchanger. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the Changer. We have Lupin X and Patron X. On the side of the box, we have Lupin X. On the other side of the box, we have Patron X. On the top of the box, Patron X, Lupin X. On the bottom, things and stuff and words. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other things and stuff. A lot of things and stuff. And back on the bottom, we have Sad Pac-Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the X-Changer. And it may not look like it right now, but this is the transformation device for Lupin X, a.k.a. Patron X. And the Changer is made up of X-Train Gold and X-Train Silva. That's right, we're bringing the trains back to Super Sentai. And uh, since we are talking about trains here, very quick comparison, here it is with the... Red Resha from Tokyujer. Just so you can see how they scale there. So, there you go. So first up, let's take a look at the trains. We'll start with X-Train Silver. So this is the, uh, the Lupin Ranger specific train here. And right up front, you got some nice blue. You got the X done in gold. And you have the Lupin Ranger symbol there on the side with some orange. Lots of nice detail going on. You do have the dial up top. The dial doesn't turn. It doesn't do anything. It's just there purely for show. You can see some nice detail going on. Got the black. You do have some gold back here. And there's the underside. There are rolling wheels, so it can roll nice and smoothly. Um, there is actually some articulation. This is just due to the uh, fact that it has to transform for the combined mode. But you do get some hinges here. You actually Fold it all the way up if you want to. You get a hinge that just kind of moves over one click. So you do get some articulation for the train, if that serves any purpose for you. So there you have X-Train Silva. And next up we have X-Train Gold, and this is the Pet Ranger specific train. You can see the Pet Ranger symbol right there on the side. You got some white, you got some red and silver right up front. Again. Well, that's nice details. We do have the uh, a combined mode face just kind of staring up at us. <laughs> Visible head syndrome. Yep, it, it has it. It has it. But again, lots of nice detail. You got some orange there on the side, some reds, and you get some silver in here that we can't see yet. But you got some silver up top. Again, lots of nice detail going on. And again, you do have the rolling wheels, so we can roll. All nice and smooth like. Now on the show, both trains do connect together to make one long train, but uh, these cannot do that. Um, there's no way that I found for them to do that, and the instructions don't say anything about that, so I guess in the case of the toys, they, they don't do that, I guess. Unless I'm just missing something, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Now back to X-Train Gold here. X-Train Gold has all of the electronics, so you have your trigger right here. Your battery compartment is right there. The batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. And the speaker is right in there. And we do get some noises when we push the trigger. You get that. Push it again. Choo-choo! Get some train noises. Now, you can remove the front section of the trains here. You can do it to both. You can remove these front sections here, and they do have rails on them. They have those tab combinations, so guess what we can do with these? We can use them in the VS Changer. Now, uh, both trains will make the exact same noises in the VS Changer, uh, just to show this here. They both have the exact same tab combination. So they're both going to do the same thing in the changer, so I'm just going to use silver. So, let's go.
go. And you just get a pew pew noise. After that, um, there is no summoning for it if you just bring it down and bring it back up. It just makes that one noise if you turn it down, because I know somebody's going to ask. It's going to do the same thing, so. That is what they do in the VS Changer. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's get down to the functions of the exchanger itself. So first we have to put it together. So the only prep work you have to do for silver here is just take this connector piece and just bring it in like that. And uh, for gold, you wanna take this rear section here and rotate it down like that. You wanna take this connector and flip that in like so. This is a release button for the handle. So you just push this and bring it down to the center locking point and you get that confirmation noise and then what we're going to do here is just connect them it just connects right up here and right there so you just push that in that will clip in and that will clip in right there when you're taking these trains apart uh silver does have a release button right here so you can pull this out you'll see how that works in there so have everything clipped together and there you have the X changer itself. And um, yeah, it's, it's not the most elegant thing. It's just kind of, I mean, it's literally just two pledged together trains on a handle. I mean, that's really all this is. It's not really all that, uh, all that elegant looking, all that stylish. Considering the considering the way the character acts, this is definitely not uh, not befitting of of this character. But you know, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> but there you have the exchanger itself. Now, when you pull the trigger, you get pew pew noises. You can rapid fire that. And now we can get down to some transforming. So first uh, we will give this whole section here a turn. We'll give it one turn, which is not easy to turn this. It does lock in pretty securely. So yeah, here we go. Turn around. And now we're gonna turn it again. Pull the trigger. So there you go. We've now transformed it to a Pathrin X. And when we pull the trigger, you get that. There you have that. So now we will summon the trains. So we're going to give the top section two turns. There you go, we summon the trains. Now, if we pull the trigger again, we'll get the combination noise here. So, pull it. So there you have the noise for X Emperor Gunnar. So, there you have that. So, now we will move on to transforming into Lupin X. So we'll just turn it around.
And now we've become Lupin X. And pull the trigger. And you get that noise. And now we will summon the train again. We're going to hear the exact same noise, but we got to do it. So turn it twice. So, same noise, and now we will pull the trigger and hear the combination noise. So there you have the noise for X Emperor Slash! So, there you have that. This will not stand up on its own. We're just going to lay this down right here. One more thing I want to do is just bring in the uh, the VS changer just so you can see how it scales there with the X changer. Just so you can get a sense of the size of it. So, there you go. So, there you have the X changer. Now, this can do more, a lot more, but we'll get to that in next week's video when we take a look at Noel's other trains. Now, as far as the X changer itself, um, design-wise, uh, this thing is ugly. <laughs> it, it's just... It's it's not the most elegant of designs. I, I understand what they were going for here, but just design wise, it's just it's just not pretty. It's not pretty. But it is an interesting concept as far as how it works. Um, I like that the trains do have compatibility with the VS Changer. I think that's really cool. And just adds that little extra bit of playability there. So uh, you know, I'm always a fan of that. So not the best looking Changer I've ever seen, but uh, it definitely is fun to mess with though. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Super Sentai toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Lupin Ranger vs. Pet Ranger playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Lupin Ranger vs. Pet Ranger DXX Changer. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face.